In this video, I'm going to show you how you can very simply apply the timeline component to a form on a table in Power Apps. So here we are on our form canvas. You're going to navigate over to the components area of your form builder, and it should be under popular as timeline. If not, you can check out more components here if it's not showing up for you. So with all these controls, you're actually just gonna click and drag it onto your canvas where you want it. And then here's your timeline. And finally, let's take a look at some of the items you can configure on the timeline itself. If you click on the timeline, the panel opens on the right. First thing you can do is select the record types you would like to show. By default, you'll get activities and notes if they're enabled for that table. Uh, you can restrict one or the other if you would like. Let's take a look down here, since we have activities turned on, this is where you can configure which activity types are actually going to display for your users in the timeline. So you can simply uncheck these if you don't want them and go uncheck the enable box and then that activity type will no longer show up. So you can repeat that for whichever activities you do or do not want to appear on the timeline for this specific table. Let's also look at the advanced section here. One of the things I do want to point out is records shown on page. By default, this is going to be 10, and you can change it to any number up to 50. So that's up to you. That's how many records are going to be shown directly in that timeline before seeing the view more scroll. So have fun with your timeline control. I hope this was a helpful video, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.